Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about inserting text box values into SQL Server database using a button click. So I have already created uh, some codes code here. So I'll uh, explain that. So here we are uh, using SQL connection and we have declared it here then we are uh, getting the connection string here so data source is your SQL server name uh, which is your server and then we are using this uh, initial catalog which is uh, our uh, database name so this test DB is our database uh, and then we have integrated security true uh, because we are using window authentication that is why integrated security is true now if I come here so here we are uh, uh, creating our connection and we are passing the connection string to it and then we are opening our connection here so if I show you SQL server if I go to management studio and now you can see this is uh, our server name and this is test DB is our database and now we are going to insert some values into uh, a table of this so we will insert it into this my table if I show you the values in this so uh, select top 1000 rows now you can see that we have only one value here now we will add some more values into it so I will go to Visual Studio again and now if I go to the designer view designer now we are going to get a uh, uh, values from this uh, text box 1, text box 2 and text box 3 and when we click on this insert button we will uh, uh, insert it into this test db my table uh, table so I will double click on this and now here we will write the code so first I will write the SQL query so I will use string SQL equals and here I will use insert into uh, my table and here I will use values and then um, store start parenthesis then here I will pass in the first value so plus and text box one dot uh, text then uh, I will use uh, plus and double quotes and inside double quotes uh, we will use a comma because after each value we use a comma then I'll use a uh, plus and then double quotes and then the second value is a string value so we have to pass the string value in single quotes so I will use single quote here and then plus and then text box uh, two dot text and then plus and then we will uh, you, uh, close the single quote here so I'll close it here so now we will go for the second value so for uh, but first we need uh, a comma here so I'll use plus and then double quotes and then comma after this value then plus and then uh, I will use double quotes and then single quote because the second way the third value is also a string value so we pass in the string values or work our values in single quotes so single quote and then plus I will pass in the value so text box two uh, dot, uh, uh, three dot three dot text and now I'll use a uh, plus and double quotes and uh, then single quote and then plus and double quotes and then comma and uh, we do not need a comma at the end instead of this we need uh, this closing bracket parenthesis and then I will use uh, semicolon so now our uh, uh, query is created so now I'll create this cable command to insert this uh, query so I'll press and enter here and now we will uh, create our SQL command so SQL command cmd equals new SQL command 
and now I'll pass in here the uh, query past so SQL and then the uh, connection so con and now I'll put semicolon here now uh, as our SQL is created so we will uh, use uh, cmd dot execute non query and now this non query uh, return us an integer value so I'll uh, use int a is equal to this now we will show this uh, integer value on a message box and we will know if the data is uh, successfully inserted or not into the database so which is message box dot show and now I'll pass in here a dot to string because this is integer and message box can only show string value so I change it to string now our code is complete so if I run this application right now so now if I insert here a value to tab and name as uh, Khan and tab and uh, address is um, uh, Islamabad and now if I click on this insert so it returned us a value of 1 which means that the data is successfully inserted so if I click OK and now if I come here and now if I again uh, right click on this table and select up 1000 rows now you will see two records two Khan Islamabad is added now if I insert another one another record if I go minimize this and go here and make this 22 and this uh, uh, Jamal are uh, Jamal and this if I change this to Peshawar and now if I insert so now if I go and check the rows in the uh, table select up 1000 rows now you we will have 22 Jamal and Peshawar and to our a database table so in this way we can insert uh, data into our database from text boxes in C sharp so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you